Hello fellow data friends. Lawyer lists form a high government rating. Straightforward, right? When you have a legitimate or righteous government, then you get lawyer lists every month. I have 100 government points, so I should get a lot of lawyer lists from a high government rating. Any minute. Very soon. Well, it's October now. No new lawyer lists due to the government rating appeared, apart from the initial 47 from the very first week of the game. Let's dig deeper. This is a function for lawyer lists from government ratings. You take the government points, you subtract 74, and you multiply with 0.05%. Then you apply any other modifier, if there is any, and it's not supposed to be above 1. This gives you a percentage between 0 and 1.3%. This is multiplied with the number of people in interest groups and results in the number of lawyer lists you get every month. If a person is not in an interest group, then this person does not care about politics and is rightfully ignored. The implementation sounds totally reasonable so far. It took me a while to figure this one out, but how often is that function actually called? The government rating will usually fluctuate a bit, because interest group cloud will always fluctuate. So to get a completely accurate value, you need to recalculate the number of loyalists on a daily basis, for every nation, for 100 years. It's not a big function, but do you really need that level of precision? You can probably calculate it less often and increase performance a bit. And here's a brilliant idea. What if you calculate that value once, store it, use that stored value and only recalculate it when there's a big change in the government rating, like a change in the government setup. The fluctuation will be a bit off, but on average all will be fine. And surely no one forgot about another way to majorly change the government rating, right? Happens to the best of us. There might be other triggers than just this change in the government currently present, but there seems to be an irregular interval which forces an update of this value. We can verify that in-game. I started a new game, waited one month as observer, because there seemed to be some more triggers for recalculation at game start. I saved to always get the same start. Now we play Switzerland. Okay, they already have 1100 loyalists from high legitimacy. This is our starting point. Scenario 1. Change the government to trigger a recalculation, set taxes to very low, wait a couple of days, change taxes to very high, wait until the end of June. We got 8700 loyalists due to a high government rating, with a government rating of 63. Scenario 2. Only change the government without tax changes and wait until the end of June. We got 4,500 loyalists due to a higher government rating with a rating of 83. We got less loyalists compared to the first scenario because we had a lower government rating when the number of loyalists was calculated. Scenario 3. Change the government, set taxes to very high, wait one week, change taxes to very low and wait until the end of June. We only got the initial 1,100 loyalists due to a high government rating no new ones. So a government value below 75 with very high taxes was used for the calculation of monthly loyalists. So in conclusion, I will file another bug report and hope it will be fixed eventually. Until then, to maximize your loyalists, always set your taxes to very low when you change the government and only go back to your desired tax level after a couple of days. Use a week if you want to be on the safe side. If you want to know how to make people happy by almost starving them, click on the top video. Thanks a lot for watching, please consider liking and subscribing.